In this blog, what we're going to take a look at is the new Autodesk Vault Fin Client for Vault Professional 2022. Now, what you might have noticed is in the past, the Vault 2021, uh, you could have the Fin Client um, on both Vault Workgroup and Vault Professional, but what you would have noticed is that the, the Vault Workgroup, uh, you'd have to have an office license to be able to work it on that. So that is one of the... Uh, the, the sort of the differences are between 2022 and 2021. Um, what we do have now is um, Vault Thin Client is only available on 2022 um, Vault Professional. So in 2022, Vault Professional is the only one that you can actually allow uh, Vault Thin Client to work on, um, and also it's read only. So to get to the Vault uh, Thin Client, um, go up over here, typing the either the name of the computer you're going to, the Vault's been hosted on and then Autodesk TC for Autodesk Thin Client, the name of the vault that you want to access, and then just type in login. Don't worry about the rest of this over here. Press enter and it brings you to the screen over here. Once over here, you'll see there which server it's going to be logging into as well as the vault name. Uh, put your credentials in and then just sign into vault. And, or if you have set it up, you can sign in as a Windows account as well. <clears throat> so when I, um, when I, when I go into the Vault Thin Client, uh, you'll notice that it's got this nice dark theme over here. And on the left-hand side, you've got three buttons. So you've got your files, you've got your items, and you've got your change orders. So this is um, a little bit different to the previous vaults. Okay, so you can actually see all of this as well. Change orders, quite nice. Um, items as well as files as well. So in the files, you'll see your file structure over there, content center files, anything over there. Now, what we'll notice over here is that um, if I go into this, if I go to assemblies, I'm not seeing many um, sort of many parts. Okay, here I can see uh, because it's been released. So if I go to a component or a folder and there's nothing in there, it's probably because the files haven't been released yet. So for that, if you click on the profile over here, you'll see they've got settings. And under the settings and your administrator settings, you're able to then take off only show released files. Okay. And then also only show the latest version of the file as well. So this is quite a nice setting to have as, you know, if you've got many different versions, now, you don't want someone coming in and printing the wrong version and then going and making a thousand parts or something that's not the latest version. And then you've got the same options for items as well. Show released items only and then show latest version of item only. Okay, so I can say take that off and that off. I wanted to say everyone can see everything that's in the vault. And there you'll notice there where previously there was nothing, you'll see there that my piston IPT, my DWG IM and IPT has been um, it's showing now, and you can see the state is work in progress. Now, if I go to say, for instance, the piston assembly, uh, there you can see there's a little preview, and over here, here's all my properties. So all my user-defined properties and my system-defined properties as well. Uh, with that as well, you've also got a history, so you can see exactly what's going on over here. And if I select these little three buttons over here, you can either view it, you can download it to your desktop if you wanted to, share it, update visualization, and view details as well. Okay, so details just goes back to the properties over there. Where used, it tells me where this component is used. So it's used in the piston assembly, and the piston assembly is in turn used in the piston assembly DWG over here. Is it attached to an item? So you'll see there if I've created an item from it. Yes, it is, and there we go. So there's the item number. The revision of the item on it is work in progress and piston assembly over there. Is it attached to any change orders? So there you'll see there, change orders as well. And it, right on the but, uh, the right over here, you'll see this view. Now, this view is loaded up with Forge, not with uh, the design review anymore. So it's actually powered by Forge. Um, so you'll see there, powered by Autodesk Forge. So this is quite nice where you don't have to rely on the design review being installed on your PC anymore. And there we go. Okay, so there it is over there, and I can see my component. Now, in 2022.2.2.1 or 2022.2, that's the Vault version, you'll see there, there's a little button over here, Print Snapshot. So what it allows us to do over here now is, if you had only 2022.1 or 2022, I think, this print snapshot would not be here. So this is quite a nice little addition to Autodesk Vault, where I can select that, and then go and print it off 
um, to take it to, to wherever I need to take it. Okay, so there we go. Print preview, select my destination, and go print that off over there. Okay, so you can, as you can see over here, it's quite a, it's, it's quite a, a nice new addition um, that this, uh, you know, the Vault 30 client has got. Um, it hasn't had much, you know, sort of work done under the last couple of years, but I think they've done quite a nice overhaul. And if you have got Vault Professional, um, or if you've even got Vault Workgroup, and you're thinking of this, you know, upgrade to Vault Professional, um, it's a very, very good addition to have in your um, your CAD environment. Thank you very much.